Code and Supply Scholarship Fund completed its first full year, 2017. This brief report covers its impact in finances and announces its goals for 2018. We or our, when used throughout this report, refers to the Board of Directors. 2017 was our first full year and our goal was primarily to find our operational legs. That is, we aim to build a support network to raise grassroots awareness among the code and supply community and to make a few awards in order to build a process around accepting applications, evaluating them, making decisions, transmitting funds, and ensuring that awardees uphold their promise to use the award as intended. Code and Supply Scholarship Fund took in just under $10,500 in 2017 across all sources of revenue. The sources of revenue are broken down into these four primary categories. Corporate donations, including direct and employee matching gifts, individual donations, fundraising events, and in-kind donations. The sliver at the top is anonymous donations given through the donations box at the Code and Supply Community Center or given at Code and Supply's Uptime Conference or another event, accounting for less than 1% of donations. In 2017, we awarded 21 applicants, just under $1,100. We received nearly $3,700 in cash and in-kind donations. In-kind donations include conference tickets donated to the organization. Corporate donors accounted for $2,600 when direct donations and employee matching donations are combined. Our one major fundraising event during the 2017 holiday season raised $4,100 within four weeks. The board was impressed by the turnout of this event on such short notice, with less than four weeks from inception to execution. We awarded three conference scholarships in 2017, comprising approximately two-thirds of our program expenditures. We advised five events organizers of the availability of scholarships for attendees within our target audience. We look forward to making more awards in 2018 as we raise the awareness of the availability of the fund amongst potential applicants and event organizers alike. One activity that earned the fund some attention worldwide on Twitter was participation in a donation drive around the humble Be a Coder bundle. This drive started in 2016 when Twitter user Var James tweeted about buying underrepresented junior and new developers a copy of the bundle. A few Code and Supply Slack chat members said that they'd chip in if the fund participated. As this drive targets our very same target audience, we approved participation. We took 19 applications, 18 of which were deemed legitimate and were sent a copy of the bundle. We're glad to have helped them on their way to joining our community, wherever they may be in the world. We met one of our main goals for 2017, which was to spend at least 80% of the money we spent on program expenses. We want to maintain an 80-20 ratio of program expenses to overhead in order to build trust in our spending habits. 22% of the overhead was fundraising expenses, while the rest was comprised of one-time fees and expenses related to completing our incorporation and starting operations. This yielded a net surplus of more than $9,000. The fund's available assets rose from under 21000 at the end of 2016, when we conducted any donation campaigns at all, to nearly $29,000. This table briefly summarizes the previous slides succinctly to show the growth of the fund. We're satisfied with the outcome of our 2017 efforts. To reiterate, 2017 was meant primarily for benchmarking and experimenting with grassroots campaigns as the board learned how best to approach potential awardees, conferences they want to attend, and more. 21 folks' lives were enriched by Code and Supply Scholarship Fund in 2017. We want to do even more in 2018. In 2018, we want to scale up our outreach. We have our systems down and a strong understanding of our evaluation workflow. In order to raise awareness of the fund and widen its diversity, we will expand the board of directors from three to five people. To accomplish this, we aim to nearly double our revenue and nearly have our overhead. If we are successful in all of these goals, we believe that we will be able to touch at least 30 lives in 2018. You can make a difference. You can help us getting a running start on 2018 by donating today at our website. Point your browser to codeandsupply.fund. Take a look at our website, but please do notice the donate link at the top of the page. Thank you very much to all of our 2017 donors, awardees, and others who made our fledgling organization take flight. We are excited to see what good we can do together in 2018.